everyone and welcome to my two-week cosmic weather forecast that's going to look at the um, upcoming transits between the full moon in Pisces which happens on the 21st of September and then we're going to move right through to the, um, the new moon in Libra that happens in early October. So um, as I was saying in, in my full moon forecast this is going to be a time when I think we're being asked to almost take a little bit of a back seat and to um, uh, not worry so much about things happening in the outside world we're, 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 we're kind of being asked to look more inward and to to do a little bit of um, to take things easy to pace ourselves because um, there's going to be a lot that's, that's that's happening as we move into um, Libra season and uh, the outer planets start going direct so um, yeah but anyway let, let's see what 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 we can look forward to so um, we start off on the 22nd, which is the day that the sun ingresses into Libra. And this in um, tropical astrology is considered to be the, the actual time of, of the equinox. This is um, as the sun moves into zero degrees of Libra in the tropical zodiac. This is considered to be, um, you know, the equinox itself. This is the start, not just of Libra season, but of, of the equinox. And um, of course, this is a time when we tend to focus more on relationships on the other. It's also a time when we are much more focused on diplomacy, peace talks, uh, seeking peace and harmony and beauty with others. We might also feel more inclined to socialize. And there's also um, quite a pull to, uh, to try to be more fair or uh, bring more balance into situations that perhaps have been a little bit out of whack kind of up till now so that's just something to be aware of as we move into you know Libra season um, but on the same day uh, Mercury is going to be making a square to Pluto and this can sometimes be a little bit intense so, so <clears throat> it can sometimes lead to uh, kind of mental intensity we can feel a little bit internally kind of agitated we might find that others are a little bit passive aggressive with us they begin to power struggles or kind of verbal uh, sparring matches equally we could find that others try to control us through persuasive sweet speech or possibly by, by not being entirely honest with us you know sometimes Pluto when it's negatively aspected can be a little bit about evasion lying or just being a little bit economical with the truth a bit sneaky so I think it's important to um, to just bear that in mind that um, we might be talking about slightly crafty energy um, and not to necessarily take everyone at their word to kind of look below the surface or to look at um, non-verbal cues to see what, what people are not saying um, but on, on the kind of positive side I think it's asking us to be strategic so um, and also to avoid paranoia you know there is the tendency with Pluto sometimes to be a little bit paranoid so uh, trying to take a kind of measured approach with that Sun in Libra energy and not kind of get too um, uh, as I say like suspicious of, of everybody and everything uh, but at the same time also not dropping our guard too much um, and, and just sort of being gullible or, or, or sort of believing everything that we hear and and then this this tense energy continues into the 23rd where Venus makes an opposition to Uranus so this generally speaking it can bring about exciting developments and um, particularly in kind of art money and love as well as technology but um, it also tends to be slightly unstable energy so um, people can kind of suddenly um, enter your sort of sphere of awareness or your life and end up being a little bit disruptive um, so it can create a bit of inattention you know a bit of anxiety particularly if there's an element of the unknown you know kind of dealing with somebody maybe moving into new territory with somebody in, into, in terms of a relationship or just um, maybe being faced with new technology that you haven't really encountered before and having to like, master it quite quickly. Um, things may feel a little bit unpredictable and, um, as I say, possibly um, a, like a tiny bit anxiety provoking. But I think that the key thing here is to just um, try and go with the flow and not get too um, kind of caught up in, in what is essentially uh, quite fast moving energy that's going to kind of pass um, relatively quickly and then a few days later we've got some lovely stabilizing energy um, with um, a trine between Mars and and Saturn so uh, this is an air trine and I think if you are feeling a little bit anxious or worried about about things this should help to kind of settle you you know this is this is very stable air energy so it will it's a good time to make decisions and to, to take action on 
decisions, you know, to kind of execute plans. This is kind of military precision. It's very disciplined energy. It's quite focused. Um, it, it understands what it needs to let go of. Um, so there's an element here of um, of really being quite productive um, on some level. And of course, you know, it is a Saturday, but nonetheless, um, we might find that, that we want to kind of use this in our personal lives in some way to, you know, to, to sort of make progress with a personal plan of, of some kind. Um, but it's really, really, uh, as I say, very productive energy, very constructive. And, um, and also I think what can happen is that we can see that, you, that any delays that, that have kind of occurred, um, you know, over the last week or so have actually been quite fortuitous. Um, the things start to sort of fall into place quite naturally, almost kind of magically, and everything comes together at exactly the right moment. So it's really, you know, from that point of view, great energy. And then the following week on the 27th, Mercury stations at about, you know, six in the morning, if you are in uh, sort of um, Greenwich Mean Time. So, yes, as we know, when, when Mercury goes retrograde, it does tend to increase the likelihood of misunderstandings and breakdowns in communication. And given that Mercury is in uh, Libra, this may extend to relationships. But also the positive side of Mercury going retrograde is that um, it can g bring about second chances for reconciliation with others if we've been in a period of separation or kind of um, conflict. Um, you know, it's, it's possible now that you may be given an opportunity to, to reconnect, especially given that Mercury at this point is going to be going over the fixed star speaker, which I talk about in the fixed star aspects in my, in my full moon forecast. So you might want to check that out if you haven't already. So th this can definitely bring in the potential for kind of moments of brilliance or kind of moments of um, magic when things just, just seem to come together spectacularly in a way that you couldn't even have conceived of. Um, so, you know, that, that's the, 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 the sort of the positive uh, potential here. And, and this energy is going to last into early October because what Mercury is going to do is it's going to get to speaker pass it, reverse um, direction and come back over it. So I think that this particular period between the 27th and around about the 2nd or the 3rd of October is actually going to be very, very fortuitous. So if the last two weeks have felt a bit kind of like you're walking through mud, like you can't get anything done, very foggy, you can't make decisions, you feel very tired, drained or confused, then I think you're going to feel a notice, noticeable kind of uptick in the energies during this, this particular um, phase or this particular, you know, period even though mercury is retrograde i think the key thing is to work on um you know revising reconnecting um you know anything re so um opportunities from the past um second chances that kind of thing and then on the 29th really some beautiful aspects happening here very very magical first of all we've got the sun making a trine to saturn so taking over from where Mars left off. So again, very, very constructive energy, great for making any kind of headway when it comes to personal goals, um, for s stamping your authority on something, so great for making speeches, um, for giving quarterly reports, for um, presentations or pitches of any kind. Um, it's also great for, um, you know, if you need to have a meeting w with uh, a VIP or a boss, um, they are likely to be very open and receptive to what you have to say and um, you can reach some very constructive decisions as a result of, of meetings with kind of higher ups or those mentors, that kind of thing. And maybe politicians or, you know, people that, that can um, make things happen for you legally. Um, and then um, it's also great for, um, you know, for, for kind of Perfect personal gravitas. So, you know, if you are looking for an aspect that where you want to be taken seriously, this is this is really, you know, the the, the aspect to pick, the day to pick. Um, you know, if you want to be sort of seen in a, in a favourable light or be taken seriously as an expert or you know something of that kind of ilk. And then Venus is going to be making a stunning uh, trine to to Neptune at around about quarter past five or so on the same day. So this is really really magical energy. Very um, uh, romantic, very poetic, very creative, um, so fantastic for, um, you know, dates, for um, nights out at the theatre, 
um, any kind of arts presentation or um, concerts of any kind. Um, yes, just really, really uh, combining the, the sort of um, the, rom the, the, the romantic soft aspect of, of Neptune um, with um, the quite sexy energy of Venus in, um, in Scorpio. So as I say, I think a, a fantastic um, time to, you know, approach somebody or uh, that you're interested in uh, romantically or, you know, to set up a, a date or something of, of, of that ilk, but really um, stunning, stunning energy. And, and then we move into October and we can see that we start October on a bit of a tense note with a couple of squares between Mercury and Pluto on the one hand and Venus and Jupiter on the other. So we move from this almost kind of this high, you know, kind of into 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 a, a little bit of a, a, a low or kind of a tense or intense time. Um, so starting off with a second, that's a second square between Mercury and Pluto, because of course Mercury is now retrograde, so it's moving back over the, it's repeating the same aspects that it's just gone over. So even though it goes over speaker, it's also going to move back towards Pluto. Um, so again, you know, the potential for kind of mental tension, for having a slightly troubled mind, for um, uh, kind of intellectual sparring matches or um, differences of opinion with others, particularly people who don't like to admit that they're wrong or that maybe have something to hide. Um, and so, you know, just, just, just something to, to, you know, to kind of be aware of. Um, and then Venus making a square to, to Jupiter. Very often for me, this is not, it doesn't necessarily pan out all that negatively. You know, this, we are talking about a square between the two benefics, but what tends to happen is that we can get a little bit self-indulgent or spoiled or petulant. So we can sort of, um, not want to take our responsibilities seriously. We may want to party too much. Um, we may be very focused on kind of pleasure and um, on the good times and, and not really keen on sort of um, putting the, 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 the sort of pe the pedal to the metal. So we might be a little bit lazy. We can also overspend, um, eat too much, that kind of thing. So just something to be aware of that, that uh, maybe this Friday is one of those where, you know, if you can uh, take things easy, you, you might kind of want to because I don't think anyone's going to be terribly productive um, you know, on, uh, this, on, on this particular, um, you know, uh, end of the week. Um, yeah. But then Saturday, it's a different story. Um, Venus then moves to a sextile with Pluto. So this is fantastic for, um, uh, you know, making decisions, for making positive changes to any kind of structure in your life that you feel, you know, is in need of some remedia remedial work or some healing. Um, it's also a great time to express yourself honestly with others, in, in particularly in romantic relationships, but it could also be a creative partnership or some kind of business partnership. Um, and to do so in a way that um, that's still kind of kind, so you, you kind of speak your truth, but then you step back and, and you allow others to have time to think about things to process and so on. But it does, it does generally lead to some positive changes, so, so a, a really nice kind of aspect. Um, to book, you know, bookmark or to note in, in your diary. And then the following week, um, we move into a lovely, um, a second um, trine between Mercury and, and Jupiter. So the same as the one in September. Um, so again, really, really stunning aspect for any kind of, um, you know, for making judgment calls, for, for um, making important decisions, for uh, speculative thinking for, you know, if you want to kind of um, uh, replace negative thinking with like positive affirmations, this is a great day to do it, to kind of get um, get stuck in it and, and write them down. Um, it's also great for teaching, for presentations, uh, for business, for travel, anything of that ilk, very expansive energy, so uh, a good time to maybe go, go on some kind of adventure. Um, and then, um, you know, we, we, we basically come into the, the energy of the new moon here on the 6th um, when uh, we have the new moon in Libra and Pluto goes uh, stationary direct. So the beginning of the planet, the outer planet is starting to station. So we'll look at that next time when we get to the, the, the new moon forecast um, in October. But I think that, that, you know, that's probably given you more than enough 
um, food for thought and some dates to kind of write down in your diary. Um, yeah, so I hope that's helpful and I um, hope you have a great two weeks and I'll see you again in a fortnight.